to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Chanin Teb Supan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting of the blue corner, 26 years of age. His stand at 180 is the best tall and weighing at 139.6 pounds. He will record 50 wins, 50 losses, and two draws. He is former Lumini Flyweight Champion and the current Rajaman Stadium Welterweight Champion, representing Satun Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Kun Hale Singh His opponent fighting on the red corner, 31 years of age. He's done at 172 centimeters tall and wearing the pan 40 pounds. He will record up 73 wins, 27 losses, and one draw. He is former Thailand champion and former two time Lumini Stadium champion and RWS 2023 Super Lightweight World Champion representing Nambu Lampu Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for. Captain Lee Academy! Last year's tournament champion, Captain against the Channel 7 welterweight champion. Met Indy versus Sing Ma Win. Round one, here we go. Of course, Tapao Gao also in the welterweight tournament. Like I said, as expected, right away, Kun Han Lek from the very first to second, jumping onto Capitan. Not quite sure if that was the game plan or it's nerves or excitement to take on someone like Capitan. You have to make it uncomfortable. And perhaps the uh, trainers at Sigma Wing, which is oh, 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 oh. oh, here comes Capitan, though. Good hands there. Big elbow strike, or attempted elbow strike from Capitan within the clinch. He's not allowing Gunhan Lake to have it his own way here in round number one. Capitan knows exactly what it takes to win this tournament, let's not forget. Last week's after the tournament, he asked the owner of Sigma Win. He said all his fighters are ready to fight eight rounds without getting tired at all. We'll have to see if that's true or not. Perhaps the reason why Kun Hanlek is engaging so fast early on. See the eyes there of Kun Hanlek. Looks possessed. That kick to the body, right hand there from Capitan. Known for his fantastic punches. Good elbow from Kun Hanlek within the clinch. A big storm, but not a storm that Capitan has never seen, though. True. Oh, good hands. That, yeah, that's that right hand again. Remember, he, he was able to knock down Chu Jerome in last year's tournament. Capitan on the attack, pushing forward, left kick there. Kun blocks the left kick from Kun Han Lek. Another attempted right hand, left kick from Capitan. Kun Han Lek now pressing. And, and you can see the experience on Capitan's side. When you want to stop a fighter from wearing you down, you need to push forward. And this is exactly what Capitan is doing right now. This is where that experience that we were talking about plays off. And just what you mentioned there, Antoine, is exactly right. Capitan was on the back foot. And instead of trying to defend his position, he went and attacked Kunhan Lek. Absolutely. You don't often see that from fighters who uh, don't have that experience. And like I said, Capitan actually looks a little bit more relaxed than Kunhan Lek. Absolutely. And let's not forget that the clinch, clinching position. Oh, big right kick to the body there from Capitan. Right knee trying to off balance Kunhan Lek right now. Kunhan Lek looking up at the clock. He's there from Kapitan and from Kunhan Lek. Good luck judging this one. 
And I was saying the clinching position, not a position where Capitan will feel uncomfortable. Very good clincher oh. as well. And look at those kicks three times. Well, it was a slow start, or maybe just a, a very fast start for Pumala, but I feel like Capitan was the better of the two fighters by the end of the round, Antoine. And I've got to agree with you on this one. And the experience of Capitan, the moment he saw the game plan of Kunhan, like trying to wear him down, he switched it up. He was the one engaging, pushing forward. Those punches and those kicks might be the key difference here in the first round. There you can see where the, uh, oh. the tide started to turn. Kunhan, like, he started very fast, but then Capitan, he, he bit down, he went for the storm, and then he took it. On top. But Kunhan, like, I guess, had his moments, and that. That swing the ball, option number one. Uh, either way, here in the second round will be the decider. All right, let's see what happens now here in round number two. See, we've not been disappointed with the tournament fights once again here on RWS. Last week's were incredible, this week's Maybe even better. Yeah, absolutely. Keeps getting better here in Raja Man oh, Stadium. Good one, two from Kunhan Lek. Right away, pushing forward. Oh, but that right hand from Kapitan. Good knee there from Kapitan. Left kick to the body. And the right, doubling up. Left kick there from Kunhan Lek. Kapitan firing the left kick back. Two tremendous athletes. Two Muay Thai fighters with. A big IQ of the sport, and nobody takes to get their hand raised. Oh. Capitan again, right oh. kicks deep to the body there from Capitan. Of course, going out like the taller of the two. Capitan showing tremendous accuracy with those knee strikes. Absolutely. And you're facing somebody like Kunhan Lek, you better be in a great shape as well, because there is no stopping from this man. Right now, Capitan pushing forward. Oh, the right kick once again. Oh, and those hands. Beautiful strike, hands to the body there from Capitan, and then falls over the left hook. More knees here from Capitan. Right there from Gunnar, like just sneaks one through. You gotta love the way Capitan is able to defend himself on the offense. Look at that, the block, and the answer with the kick. Does he really want to retire? He's still <laughs> so good. Yeah, absolutely. He stated that he feels like his body is not as good or in a good shape like he was oh. in the past. Good moment there for Kunhan Lek. Oh, big right hand. Slowing down Kunhan Lek and again, double it up with the oh. knees, right kick to the body. It's those key moments. Our champions make the difference. Kunhan Lek fighting on the back foot. Interestingly, oh, oh, two kicks again. now. Two kicks in the body from Capitan, a right hand, right kick. Kunhan Lek is starting to struggle a little bit right now. Absolutely. He's under one minute on the clock. Looking at his corner and they are urging him to move forward. They should. 40 seconds remaining on the clock. Capitan looking for a right hand, he missed that time. Unfortunately, Paul Kunan like he couldn't capitalize. Yeah, he's got to love the way Capitan is fighting, pushing forward, neutralizing yeah, the his, aggressor. His kicks are connected, oh. he's blocking those shots that Kunal is throwing. That goes with the majority of the knee strikes as well. Right kick, right kick Ooh. from Capitan, but he does eat a right hand for Kunan Lek. I've got to love those combinations coming from Capitan as well. And what a round, and another amazing one for the champion, Capitan. Two amazing rounds of Boy Thai action in the books in this one. But like I said, if Capitan won round number one slightly, I feel like he was a lot better in round number two. I really do think that he probably did take that this round as well. But Kunan Lek, don't write him off. Those big hands that he possesses. You never know how the judges are scoring, what they're seeing. 
We have a great angle here. We have the advantage of looking at the highlights. I've seen the different camera angles. The judges don't. Massive right hand there from Kunhan Lek. That's right. So he's moved up to middleweight. Maybe we'll get to see him versus the current middleweight champion, Joe Ryan. Yeah. Soon enough, sometime this year. And with that being said, Pat Marcot and Capitan, the two last of a great generation that might be retiring very soon. Hopefully not, especially after Capitan's performance. All right, round number three, last round. Ooh. Yeah, all right, kick to the body, should I say, by Capitan. Well, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this now. Capitan holding on. It's all about surviving, not getting injured, not getting dropped in this round for Capitan. Come on, let go. We saw it with those highlights. He does have some great accuracy with his punches. You see a left hand there. And again, come on, like playing down on the country and taking the fight right now to Capitan. Capitan also gold medalist amateur boxing in Thailand. Another left hand there from Kun Han Lek. And a 1-2. Blocking the shots that are coming in from Capitan. Capitan again holding on. Just over two minutes to go in this round. I'm looking in the corner of Sigma with a there saying going with elbow strikes. Yeah, absolutely. You can see how no. Kun Han Lek is following the game plan perfectly right now. Looking to utilize hands and elbows. Oh. Making it uncomfortable for Capitan. Doing everything in his power to try and connect. Like I said, with those elbow strikes are indeed some strong punches to the body are upstairs. Capitan. Beautiful distance control with those teams. Looking for a right hand. And once again, just grabbing a hold. Using those veteran skills of his to run down the clock and try and frustrate Kunhan Lek. Oh, and again, there you can see that team. Oh. Sneaking through once again from Punhan Lek. The fight is not done. It is not over yet. In the clinching position. Now Capitan in control. Just looking to run down the clock. That took attempted by Kunhan Lek. Left hand once again. And here comes. The experience in amateur boxing, protecting himself from those hands. Yeah, the corner now, Conor Lek, the team single win. Don't see him as animated. Mm. Oh, beautiful combinations. One, two, three there from Conor Lek. Another attempted right hand from Capitan, but he misses it once again. And Conor Lek then goes in for the clinch, but Capitan able just to tie him up. 25 seconds left. It doesn't look like it's going to be Kun Han Lek's day here. Another right hand there from Kun Han Lek. Tented Superman punch there by the Cowboy. Kun Han Lek now out of options, really, to turn this fight around. And there you have it. The current tournament champion, Capitan. <laughs> <laughs> and his team, that includes Pet Morricot, will be taking home the three points here tonight. Another tremendous fight here on RWS between two phenomenal athletes. But it will be indeed Capitan who gets his hand raised. Let's have a look at the highlights. Left and right hand, some cuts there from Capitan, goes down to the body. One two combination there from Kunhan Lek. And it did cause problems for Capitan. Of course, he didn't have scored a win on two number one card after round number one. Oh. Beautiful from Kunhan Lek, that one two. But like I said, it'll be Capitan. It's his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Boy Thai action, we go to the judges' score card. The first judge scored is about 29 to 28. The second judge scored 30 to 27. 
And the last shot scored 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision. Red Corner Capitan, the Jimmy Academy.